Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now May 20th of 2022 and we're only getting closer to the official release of the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series that stars both Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen back as both Anakin Skywalker slash Vader and of course Obi-Wan Kenobi himself. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing that a lot of Star Wars fans have really been looking forward to has a lot to do with the fact of what Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, George Lucas, and other creators coming on board over at Lucasfilm are getting ready to work on. Now, we already know that shows like the Ahsoka series are moving along very smoothly. A lot of things are happening with that TV show as we speak, and how that too is going to be served as a, as a foundation in a sense that's going to branch out to multiple spin-off TV shows that are going to be announced at next year's celebration. Now, the thing about everything related to Kathleen Kennedy, now, we know that she's been talking a lot more about her experience with the Star Wars fandom, her experience being the president of Lucasfilm, and we've seen how she created such a mess with the sequel trilogy movies, and of course, with the solo Star Wars story box office results, right? So here we are, you know, it is the end of May, basically, and we're just one week away from the Kenobi TV show, and Kathleen Kennedy has been a lot more vocal than normal. She's been really revealing more about her stance on the Star Wars fandom and exactly what she thinks about the overall Star Wars community. And well, there's one portion where it doesn't look so good in her perception. We'll get into that in just a second. But one thing that we can say is that Kathleen Kennedy is still having a lot of trouble with the Acolyte TV series led by Leslie Headland as the main writer. Now, with that being said, however, with both Disney and Lucasfilm already involved with multiple new Star Wars TV shows that will be announced at this year's and next year's celebration event, the Ahsoka series has been running very smoothly with production with, of course, filming. However, it's noted that one thing that Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy recently had to say about the Star Wars fandom is where she eventually engaged in an interview and stated the following. It's our job to make sure that we take Star Wars in an exciting adventure, and one thing that tends to stop us is the very loud and opinionated fans that believe that they know everything. It's the one thing that tends to interrupt our creators and initiates writer's block, which is the fans. As much as I would love to say that our projects are for the fans in that sense, they are not. We are making stories for audiences and for everybody. We can't just listen to the fans and make these stories for the fans. When I am always questioned about why we made so many mistakes before in the past with many of our projects, one thing that I will say is that I will touch on that, of course, is that it is fan pressure, and that is the key to all of it, and can really interrupt with creative flow. This is why we try to ignore the fans in that regard. I am always questioned about the sequels and why we didn't use anything from the past, and I need to put this out there, that there just wasn't any source material for us to work with that existed. Nothing, nothing at all. No source material from the past at all to put in our films, and so we played it to safe in the beginning. So let me just stop right here for one second of what Kathleen Kennedy is saying again. This is actually terrible of what she said. This does not make her look like a good speaker at all because she said this before in the past. I, be, I believe it was like maybe two years ago where she dropped the whole there's no source material line. Basically lying to people, lying to casual fans that there is no Star Wars Legends stories that exist. And she's really trying to create that narrative that there is no quote unquote source material from the past to pull from to use in these sequel trilogy movies. And it's kind of quite obvious of how John and Dave Filoni immediately contradict what Kathleen Kennedy says because they too have already stated openly to fans that they are using a lot of Legends content to be used in their new Star Wars shows. And here we have Kathleen Kennedy trying to lie over the fact that there is no Star Wars Legends that exist to at least, of course, use or have used in the sequel trilogy movies or any other projects out there like the Acolyte. Obviously, Kathleen Kennedy is trying to convince new fans and or casual fans that there is no source material from, of course, Star Wars Legends. Moving on. So on top of that, all right, 
She goes on to say that, of course, we tried to do something new in the middle and tried to let our guards down in the sequel trilogy in the last film and played it safe in the very beginning as well and fans still weren't happy about anything. We tried everything. You can never make the fans happy because the lab minority likes to focus on a couple of stories, be it comics or books, that they focus on obsessively and want to see in live action. When those obsessions from loud fans are spread across social media, it without a doubt causes a writer's block for our creators. It's not a fun thing to go through as a creator. I know Leslie Headland and I are really trying to figure out what the best path is for the Acolyte series, which we will be happy to talk about more at this celebration. At the end of the day, the fans and what they can do that helps the creators best is to sit back, stay quiet, and enjoy the ride. And that can, of course, help the creators best is to actually do just that. Again, the loud fans are just a minority, but they tend to spread their opinions to other fans. That creates the big mess of confusion. As to what our goals are here with our new shows at Lucasfilm, separate from what Kathleen Kennedy said alludes to also how Kathleen Kennedy still holds her belief that there is no source material from the past to work with for new stories once again, lying that Legends does not exist and cannot be used for new stories. Meanwhile, that's exactly what Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are doing as we speak right now for multiple new Star Wars shows that were approved by Disney CEO Bob Chapek. Now here's one thing, all right, before we get on to the next thing that's pretty significant, is that when you see Kathleen Kennedy talking like this to, of course, the Star Wars fandom and really telling fans that there's no source material, there's no Star Wars legends, there's nothing to really work from or pull from in that regard, and like she said, using that into the new Star Wars stories, and she's really trying to convince a lot of people that you can't use Legends, and it's the loud minority of fans that are causing a lot of problems. I like it the best of how she points out, and how basically, I guess you could say how she doesn't really know what she's talking about with the sequel trilogy movies, is that she stated that the beginning was playing it safe, the middle, they tried to do something different, and the last film, they tried to pull their guard down. That, to me, sounds like that they didn't know what they were doing, obviously, and she still was confused as to why fans weren't happy. Well, that's exactly why fans weren't happy. It was very, very much an emotional roller coaster. You know, it felt so disconnected. It felt very much disjointed. The first film, yeah, it, they did play it safe. Bob Iger admitted this years ago, and now Kathleen Kennedy finally admitted it. The Last Jedi, all right? The middle film of the trilogy. They wanted to do something so different, it came across as feeling very distant from Star Wars and the theme of Star Wars. And number three, The Rise of Skywalker, in reality, that was really damage control, but Kathleen Kennedy likes to call it pulling their guard down or putting their guard down and just letting them do what they want to do. And that too kind of backfired on them. So overall, guys, you know, I would like to see what you have to say about what Kathleen Kennedy said here about blaming the fans essentially and how it causes writer's block and if you guys did enjoy the content for today you know let me know what you guys have to say about all this below in the comments i thank you all so very much for the kind support and i'll catch you guys next time <laughs>